Stage fright is awful. Do not let it impair your talent when you're on stage and don't let it suck the fun out of theater. I've been in musical theater since around third grade. I've been doing musical productions. I've I've been doing piano since kindergarten, been, you know, in recitals and stuff since, you know, since I was like 6. But since then I've been in 14 musical productions and I've been in seven talent shows and I've really found out that I really don't feel stage fright that much anymore. And to all the people who are really talented but aren't able to get on stage to be able to present their talent confidently, I want you to be successful. My first tip is practice. Practice not in front of an audience, but more importantly you need to practice in front of an audience. Because you're never going to feel comfortable in front of an audience until you're in front of an audience. Take as many opportunities as you can to be able to show your talent in front of a group of people. And it's not going to be fun, you know, the first time. I mean, I guess it just depends. Uh, but the more that you do it, the more comfortable you're going to be able to be. My second tip is if your brain is telling you uh, what if and say so what. Stage fright, a lot of time for a lot of people, stage fright comes before you're on stage. And because we're so self-aware of everyone that's around us, we play the what if game of like, what if I forget my lines? What if I sing a note wrong? What if I fall off the stage? What if the audience hates it? What if, you know? And I think the most important thing that you can do with this is just think it through. You know, if your brain is telling you like, what if, then say, so what? If I forget a line, then it doesn't mean I'm not gonna be on Broadway, it doesn't, you know? So it's important to think everything through because I think sometimes we can think a lot of stupid stuff and that's, you know, what stage fright does to us. Think of, just think it through, you know. Um, you know, if you hate it, then at least it's a learning experience and at least you can grow from this um, and become better. Um, and I think it's also important to keep, you know, an eternal perspective on it and know that it's only for one night and you're gonna have lots of more chances to perform as long as you take them. Don't let one bad performance scare you away from performing more. My next tip is, if you're in musical theater like I am, uh, be thinking as your character. This is really important because if you're thinking about what the audience is thinking of you, then you're not giving your character justice because you're not thinking for your character. Like if I was in Wicked and I was playing Alphaba and I was thinking about the audience, then that wouldn't be fair to the audience, that wouldn't be fair to the to me and that wouldn't be fair to the character because Alphaba isn't thinking about an audience because there is not an audience there. It's just this own little wicked world. And I think that's also another mindset that's important to develop. Know that once you step on stage, you're in a completely other world and you need to be able to develop that, that, that different focus and that different mindset. So this is the end of my video of tips and tricks on how never to have stage fright ever again. Take as many opportunities to perform in front of an audience as you can to play the what if game and think it through if, you, if your brain is telling you uh, what if and say so what. And to think for your character, go into your own little world, don't, you know, you're not in front of an audience. Um, I hope that you're able to take these tips and tricks and I hope that they work for you. And if they do, then please send me a video of, you know, your confident performance of whenever you did not have stage fright. Thank you. Bye.